explorers, I'm going to be reading the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house on their own in a wood. One of them was little, small, wee bear. One was a middle-sized bear and the other was a great, huge bear. One day, after they had made their porridge for their breakfast, they walked out into the wood while their porridge was cooling. And while they were walking, a little girl came into the house. This little girl held golden curls, tumbled down her back to her waist, and everyone called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks went inside. First, she tasted the porridge as a great huge bear, and that was far too hot. And then she tasted the porridge of the middle bear, and that was too cold. And then she went to the porridge of the little, small wee bear, and that tasted neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. And she liked it, so she ate it all up. When Goldilocks went upstairs into the bedchamber, and first she lay upon the bed as a great, huge bear. And then she lay upon the bed as the middle bear. And finally she lay down upon the bed of the small wee bear. And that was just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and lay there until she fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough. So they came home to breakfast. Somebody's eaten my porridge, said the great huge bear in his great huge voice. Somebody's eaten my porridge, said the middle bear in his middle voice. Then little small wee bear looked at his. There was a spoon in the porridge pot, but the porridge was all gone. Somebody's been at my porridge and eaten it all up, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Then the three bears went upstairs into their room. Someone's been laying in my bed, said the great huge bear. Someone's been laying in my bed, said the middle bear. And when the little small wee bear came to look at his bed, upon the pillow there was a pool of golden curls, and an angelic face of a little girl snoring fast asleep. Somebody's lying in my bed, and she still is said the small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Goldilocks jumped off the bed and ran downstairs, out the door and down the garden path. She ran and she ran until she reached the house of her grandma. When she told her grandma about the house, the three bears who lived in the wood, her granny said, my, my, what a wild imagination you have, child. See you later.